Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this session, we shall discuss another grave misconception which is found regarding women in Islam. It is generally held by certain quarters that women will outnumber men in hell. And the basis of this opinion is generally regarded to be a narrative. And I'll read out the words of this narrative to you. It is, it is recorded in Bukhari. And it is narrated by Abu Sayyid al-Khudri. The words of the narrative are, خَرَجَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ فِي أَزْهَا أَوْ فِتْرِ إِلَى الْمُسَلَّةِ فَمَرَّ عَلَى النِّسَاءِ فَقَالْ يَا مَعَشَرَ النِّسَاءِ تَصَدَّقْنَا فَإِنِّي أُرِيتُ كُنَّا أَكْسَرَ أَهْلِ النَّارِ فَكُلْنَا وَبِمَا يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ قَالَ تُكْسِرْنَ اللَّعْنِ وَتَكْفُرْنَ الْأَشِيرِ Abu Sayyid Khudri reports, Allah's Messenger went out to the place of worship on the day of Eid al-Azha or Fitr and he passed by women and said to them, O women, give in charity, for have been shown the majority amongst you as the inmates of hell. They said, Allah's Messenger, why is that? He replied, it is because you curse a lot and show ungratefulness to your husbands. So on the basis of this narrative, it is generally understood that the population of women in hell would outnumber that of men. Now, it, is, it needs to be appreciated that in all dreams which are shown to prophets of God, an, an element of symbolism is uh, pervades through, uh, the, through the dream. One cannot interpret a dream literally. Dreams of prophets are actually a means of teaching and a means of instruction and training to them. And in them, facts are symbolized. And this symbolism is very subtle. And therefore, we must not interpret these dreams literally. A very famous example of such a dream is found in, in Surah Yusuf in the Quran, in which we know that the Prophet Yusuf dreamt that the 11 stars and the sun and the moon are going to bow in front of him. He, he, he saw them bowing them in front of him. And he, of course, understood that this symbolism, that this, the, 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 what meant to be conveyed through this was not the fact that these heavenly bodies are, are going to, to prostrate themselves before him, but the fact that they convey some other reality, and which later on we know came to light as the fact that his own family would submit to him. So therefore, we must not interpret any reality which is shown in a dream the way it is, and we must seek and we must look behind this and seek the symbolism which is actually captured in the words. Now, a little reflection on these words would show that actually the symbolism here is very causative. It's very subtle. It is not that the population of the women is being enumerated here. What is being said here is that they indulge a lot in certain deeds which might be instrumental in taking them to hell. And the narrative itself enumerates these deeds, and it says that they curse a lot, they curse each other, and they show ungratefulness to their husbands. So it is not that uh, the fact that the women are being told that they're going to outnumber men in hell. The fact of the matter is that they're being told that there are certain deeds in which they indulge a lot, which might be instrumental in taking them to the grievous punishment of hell. And as I said, this, the, the narrative itself enum enumerates these deeds. So we must not interpret the narrative the way, because the narrative itself actually is composed of a dream. And as I said, the dream must not, and any dream of a prophet must not be interpreted in the literal sense. Akulu kali haza, wa astaghfirullah ali, wa ilsairil muslimina wal muslimat.